All right, we're doing the uh, transversive steps video, the one that I said I was going to do ages ago. That one, that specific video that I was going to say I was going to do ages ago, like maybe two months ago, actually. We're about to do it right now. <laughs> All right. So for today, we're going to be doing the transversive steps video. I apologize that this took a long time to make. It's just that uh, stuff got really busy. And honestly, I kind of forgot that I did this, but I got, I had a few comments asking for specific exotics from hunters. And it kind of remind, like reminded me like, oh fuck, I was doing that series. And I really do want to do it because again, people have been wanting uh, specific exotics to be made. And I still love this idea and I've streamlined it. So it's a little bit faster now. So if you guys like the changes, let me know in the comments below. But if you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's concerned in the description below. So if you guys have not seen the Hunter uh, Stompies video or the Titans Dune Marchers video, I'll have them up in the description below. Hopefully I remember, but those are basically going uh, through the Stompies, all their ornaments, the Titans again, again, it's uh, going through the Dune Marchers, the base ornament, and then the actual ornaments. I make an armor set around them. I show you the shaders, uh, specifically Sato Tribe, Abyssinian Gold, and uh, Echoed Anger. Those three are the pretty much the colors I've set for these just because I want to have a black color, a red color and a blue color. And those are my favorite of those colors. So we also will be looking at the ornaments obviously, and uh, some practice armor or specifically some of the armor pieces that I would use for some of these ornaments. So again, uh, just a little introductory, just in case this is your first one, because the, those videos were a, a while ago. And if you guys want to watch those first, I completely understand, but this is the warlocks and let's get into it. So warlocks, you guys uh, unfortunately got the short end of the stick with the base ornament and one of the other ornaments, but the two other, because you guys essentially have the base look, which is the transversive steps. You guys have another sh uh, ornament that just kind of looks like the basic transversive steps, but with a different color. And then two that look really good in my opinion, actually probably one of the better ornaments in the game. So. The base ornament, you're going to see there has a lot of blue tinge to it. Uh, unfortunately, it really limits you on what you can and can't do for uh, fashion. Obviously, you're going to want to lean into the blue. I mean, far be it from me to tell you how to live your life. But for me, I would match this with uh, white shaders, black shaders. Uh, anything neutral is going to be really good. Uh, blue and yellow. Anything that goes with blue, you're going to want to stick to that, especially if it has glows, you're going to want a blue glow to it. Uh, as for how it shaders, this is probably a good thing considering it shaders pretty well. Everything in the actual armor set does shader. It's just that the blue glow does not change colors. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, make sure that you have a blue glow to it because for me, Sato Tribe does look the best because it gives you that blue plate. But even with Abyssinian Gold, it does look good because it just makes it all black. But like something like Angled Anger, which for me, I'm not really a big fan of blue and red. But just be aware that you're going to want to at least combine this with some blue. Um, because again, it's going to look weird if you don't. Uh, as for my practice armor, because I am i don't have much to say about this armor set. Uh, aside from maybe just combine it with smaller pieces thinner pieces but even with that being said like my practice armor i have a pretty bulky chest piece which is the virtuous robes from season of dawn this is the set that i came up with just because i really want to showcase the boots a lot and the virtuous set uh, specifically the robe makes it really good for that uh for the arms and the helmet i'm using the celestine hood and the solstice gloves which are completely different pieces but they're from solstice and there i'm using the blue glow to it which means i have arc on but if we're being real you would never use arc with this with a transversive steps you would most likely be using it with i was about to say top tree solar but there's no top tree anymore for solar but you'd be using it for the for the speed of solar tree uh but i just wanted to showcase that you really do want to show blue with this glow so you can see on the forbidden visage bond i actually have a blue as well overall i really like how this whole setup came out because the shader itself does not have blue at all uh, because personally i think that's more of a purple hue than blue uh, you have purple black white in there and then the blue hues are coming in from different shaders because the forbidden visage is actually using a different shader for the blue glow and then like i said 
these solstice gloves and the celestine gloves are getting the glow from the actual subclass itself so that's what i would be doing for this tra for transversive steps i would be combining it with something blue uh but if i'm being honest i would never use the basic ornament of transversive steps just because i'm not a big big fan of it compared to like the other two which i heavily use a lot uh which let's just get right into the next one a strike to the edge this is the first ornament we're going to be looking at and you guys can see this is basically the transversive steps or a uh, base look but with diamond patterns on the top and a line on the actual plate armor itself i'm not gonna tell you guys that i hate this armor set uh because it's not that bad it really isn't that bad especially if you want to go for a yellow glow do be aware though that that the glow at the edges and even on the middle of it has green hues to it you guys will see the green hues come up a little bit just be aware that that's a thing if you want to combine it with a green and yellow shader i don't think that's entirely necessary because the green doesn't it, it's not the the focal point of the whole thing which is literally the whole yellow of it i think the yellow uh glow is what people are going to catch their eye on and then if you want to have green hues or green accents i think that would be really cool because then uh only people that really are actually paying attention would be like wow you you have green uh, like accents around your armor set and this ornament has green accents like around it so that would be really cool personally i wouldn't go that far just because i'm not the biggest fan of a stride to the edge uh when we have the other ornaments as for how it shaders again this one shaders pretty well the only unfortunate part is that the stripe in the middle does not change color from what i've noticed it it's only it's always going to be that brown or like that brownish uh, no not brown what the fuck like that gray white yeah that's not going to change color so just be aware of that other than that everything else does change col colors the diamonds change color from what i've seen not too crazy mind you but it does change the colors enough where it's actually noticeable um as for the practice armor again i don't re i rarely ever use these ornaments so i came up with something just kind of out of the out of the fly i really wanted to lean into that yellow glow unfortunately i don't think i got the yellow tint as well as i could have because the the stride to the edge ornaments are actually more of an orange hue than a yellow hue uh but at the same time i really didn't want to try this hard because again i don't ever really use these ornaments because or this ornament because it's just i'm not the biggest fan of it if i'm being quite honest um it doesn't change a lot from the base look of uh transversive steps for me to actually care enough uh when this was back in like before we had the other two ornaments yeah i actually did like this one because it changed it to yellow which opened it up to yellow red other colors in the spectrum but now that we have the other ornaments which we'll look at the first one which is my favorite ornament uh from the from the warlocks whole everything if i'm being quite honest it's gonna be path of convergence this is literally my favorite ornament for the transversive steps if i'm being honest this is pr also probably my favorite look that i've ever made on the warlock you guys will see in the practice armor not a really practice armor because this is actually the armor set that i wear with the transversive steps but uh i'm really i'm a really big fan of this one because it's heavy on vex it, it's so heavy on the vex feel it's literally vex uh the only thing that kind of uh is a little irritating for specific people not me because i just kind of understand it is that the red glow on the kneecaps do not change color so just be aware that you're gonna have to revolve around red or just kind of ignore it completely also the white on on the legs themselves do not change color as well so just be aware that those two don't change color but if you are going for a a uh, vex look those two colors shouldn't be too problematic for you because again you're gonna be leaning into that uh other than that everything changes color the cloth changes color the robe or the like the different textured color on uh, right right above the knee also changes color everything pretty much changes color which is really good uh as for the practice armor i'm really happy with this one because again i leaned so heavy on the vex look which i know some people would be telling me oh you're you're using more than one piece from one armor set i understand that but you tell me uh like here's the thing we don't have a lot of vex pieces in the game we have what is it we have the phenotype plasticity which is already super rare because that came out in season of the undying so if you're a new player you missed out on that 
uh, we have the Curse of the Hezen Lords, which is from the raid, which is pretty much uh, accessible to anyone. And then we have the one from Garden, which is probably the worst uh, Vex armor that I've ever seen in the game. And then I guess you could count the the uh, phenotype plasticity armor from like the seasonal armor, the one that's like the the ba the basic bitch version of it. But at the same time, I really like how this whole setup came out because the phenotype plasticity bond is working really well with Path to Convergence because of the white like energy thing going on. You can see the box on the actual bond itself and the boots as well. That's why I really like both of them. And the helmet has the red glow to it and it's just very Vex themed. And then when you go to the boots, you see the knees also are also red. If I would change anything about this look, I would actually probably switch out the helmet with the Curse of Osiris Eververse ornament because that helmet is very Vex themed, but I unfortunately don't have that ornament. So that's why I don't have it here, but I would probably switch that out if you were looking to make every piece just completely different armor pieces. But again, I'm not that bothered by it because the helmet and the bond are so like, they're so small in comparison to everything else. Like if you were, if, if I were using the phenotype plasticity chest piece and the helmet, then I would probably be like, this is kind of, this is kind of like lame because you're using both of the same main points because the chest piece and the helmet are definitely pieces that you don't want to combine from the same armor piece. That's just a warlock tip in my opinion, because uh, if you do that, then it just kind of maintains that armor look. It doesn't matter what you put, what else you put, because once you see the helmet and the chest piece and they're the same thing, it's just kind of like you're just wearing that armor set with piece other. I don't know. That's my opinion, though. Uh, but this is one of my favorite looks in the game currently. This is how my warlock will look if they're using the transverse of steps, because this is just one of those pieces that I'm really proud of. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this specific uh look in the comments below but last but not least we have the mind striders this one is also one of my favorites just because of how cool it looks if you're going for a futuristic type thing you, this is definitely going to be up your alley because it looks so good i think it looks very uh war mind inspired but that could just be my eyes playing tricks on me but that's how it feels to me uh, as for how it takes shaders, I am happy to report that it actually takes shaders really well. Uh, there's nothing in here that you're going to be like pissed off about because most of it looks great. It shaders well. I think the only thing you can really uh, poke at is the fact that the glow tends to choose the off color of whatever shader you're going for. So, for example, if on a base look, the or the the glow is usually red it'll go for the other color that's kind of annoying in my opinion because sometimes you're like okay this is going to be red and then it turns out to be a different color uh because as you guys know each shader has different colors to it it's not just like the ones that you see in the actual picture they're like for example obsidian gold doesn't have red in it like at all but the glow is actually red so just to give you an uh fyi for the practice armor, I decided to do something kind of like futuristic, but also like I'm a scientist type thing, which is why I'm wearing the pieces that I am. For the chest piece, I'm using the Braytech researcher's robes. That's just one of my favorites to pair with the mind striders, just because of both of them feel very warm mind to me. Funny, funnily enough, uh, Braytech researchers came out in a warm mind DLC. It's, it was literally called a warm mind. Uh, we have the contender gloves. This one I crutch a lot, but mostly because it does a really good job at hiding the connecting uh, points of, of uh, armor pieces. I'll show you guys right now what I mean, but essentially, specifically with the Bray Tech Researchers gloves or the Bray Searchers or the Bray Tech Researchers uh, robes, you'll see at around the, the elbow, there's like a little like missing link, I guess you would say. It's really weird. And I just did not want to mess with that. So I just decided to put on the contender gloves, even though I know I use these a lot, but I think they're just really good. The simplicity of them makes them really good. I'm using the seventh Seraph hood because I feel like it pairs really well with all of this. It gives my warlock a very scholarly look in my opinion. And then the streets collar bond, which I didn't even plan that, but overall, I just wanted to combine all these together to make my warlock just look like I research shit. So. Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That is your transversive step look. 
uh, I wanted to just showcase all of the ornaments, the shaders that it takes, uh, some example pieces that you can do with them. I didn't give too much tips just because uh, these are probably the more easiest to transmog just because it's very straightforward. It's not like the Titans or the world or the hunters where their pieces had very specific looks that you had to kind of go for. This one is very flex, specifically the last ornament. You can pair that with a lot of things with uh, the path of convergence being the one that's very, very like very thematic, which is why I, I stayed on that one a little bit more. But the the stride to the edge and the base look for transversive steps are very flex. You can pretty much use them on whatever you really want. Just make sure that you're following this, the correct color coordination for it. But again, if you want to combine it with every shader in the world, I mean, go go at it. This is not this is more of a tips and tricks than anything else. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, all these links in the description below. Warlocks, let me know what you guys would like to see next. Uh, Titans, Warlocks, Hunter. If you guys want to see specific looks for these, just uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see. Like, for example, for my for the Hunter, can you do this exotic and this exotic? For the Warlock, can you do this exotic? For the Titan, can you do this exotic? I would be more than happy to show you guys some of the things that I do or how I approach certain exotics because there are certain exotics where I... I take a while like i'm still working on these star eater scales i still have not been able to make those look good with anything but to be fair i haven't really given given it my all because at one point i'm just like i fuck this i don't want to do this anymore and then dip so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media all things are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i appreciate everyone who's been commenting what they want to see and other than that i'll see you guys later